hello my love so if, if you have chosen the first option or this particular card welcome guys to your reading so let's look into how is your love life going to be improving and uh, later on in this reading we're going to look into also some timelines so that you can get an idea on when is this going to be happening so first of all i really see a very important big upgrade upgrade in your status upgrade i really feel like this is not only about your love life your love life is a very important and a major part of it but i feel like a lot of different things are going to be moving towards one specific and direct direction <laughs> Because I feel like with this number four, this is a, an establishment of uh, an uh, like a balanced life and an establishment or of a, a longevity of a state of being that is based really on very solid ground. So this is not really only about your love life, but I feel like many different things are going to be starting to shift towards uh, elevating your circumstances to the next level. And I feel like this is not going to be just one stage. This is going to be different stages of improvement uh, in, again, in all aspects of your life. This is not only about your love life. And we're going to focus on that in a little bit. But just this is a very strong message that is coming out. And I want to honor the message that is coming. So in here, I really feel like this is not just one stage, but very different and uh, successive uh, stages. Uh, I feel like as an example, if you have been in circumstances in which things uh even if they have moved along uh, at the beginning stages maybe they have stagnated at some point or you have never really um past a certain point in getting to know someone or maybe getting involved with someone or maybe getting into a higher level of commitment in the way that you have wanted it in previous relationships or even if it was it was something that's almost like moving up uh, moving a rock up a mountain it's not something that was easier or smoother or effortless for you but you felt like there was a lot of effort that was needed from you so that you can get the things that you wanted but i really feel like there is a great shift in terms of believing in the contracts that you sign and i really feel like you have signed whether you uh, are uh, aware of that or not i really feel like you have signed the contract with yourself and this contract is not to be uh, breached not in any sorts of circumstance I, I really feel that very strongly for you my dear so if you have been into uh, really setting the things uh, that you wanted on paper or maybe setting uh, your ideas on exactly what you wanted but i really feel like there is this is this is involving some sort of a contract on where you want to go in life and this is something that is going to be translated obviously and of course also in your love life so i'm really 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 ex excited i don't know if you can tell <laughs> i'm really excited for this particular reading to see what is going on and how is your love life going to be improving but let's get some uh tarot cards right now how is your love life going to be improving yeah, Ten of Pentacles, the world. This is exactly, this is, oof. yeah, the magician. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at those very, very powerful cards. I really feel like at a certain time in the past or even right now, maybe you have been reassessing and you have realized um, even if it was kind of uh, not a very easy realization for you to uh, acknowledge but maybe at a, uh, in some some circumstances that you have found yourself in in the past you felt like you were part of the equation or even if someone couldn't or didn't or didn't want to give you something uh, you felt like you have uh, allowed the space for those circumstances and those situations to persist and to be prolonged for uh, in your life for more than they should have and right now you are very determined as you can see in here like everything is set in stone this is really a very very powerful indication that whatever is starting with this uh, uh, like with this way of approaching things that uh, you are determined into uh, pursue it like you almost have uh, a roadmap when it comes to whatever you want to go whatever whatever the things that you want in your life you have a deep um, 
like knowing when it comes to whatever the uh, exact kind of relationship, the exact kind of job, the exact kind of home. Uh, you have said a lot of things uh, I'm hearing on paper. That's why I really felt like there was some sort of a spir spiritual contract that you have made. Even if you are not aware of it, I really feel like you have made the pact with uh, the spirits of light, it's your uh, spirit guides and uh, like uh, entities that are assisting you in this lifetime. And I really feel like you're going to be starting to see uh, things shifting around you in a way that is going to be assisting the vision that you have uh, on the future. So, more specifically, when it comes to your love life, how is it going to improve? Knight of Wands. I really feel like uh, something that is going to be mind-blowing when it comes to this particular change is that uh, for once or uh, this is the first time in your life where you're gonna feel like you are actually in charge of how things are gonna develop of where you want to uh, take things in the future it's almost like that it was in the past maybe uh, the other person's choice or the other person's um, decision but when it comes to this improvement, it's all about where you want to take things. I feel like you might, for those of you that are single, you might meet someone that is going to be really willing to take things to the next level. And you might find yourself in a very different situation, as in you are the one that you would like to take things slow, to get to know this person, to actually take your time. And maybe for a lot of you, my dears, that are watching this reading, it wasn't really a situation or uh, maybe um a way of being in a relationship that you are accustomed to or that you have experienced in the past so this is really a very new experience and let's get some uh, more cards how is your love life uh, improving please how is your love life improving three of pentacles i really feel like right now it's the um it's a good time for you to welcome actual partners, Ace of Cups, wow. Partners, uh, this is not, first of all, for those of you that are again singles, this is a partner. This is not someone that you're just going to date for a short period of time. This is really someone that you're going to be, um, both of you, in a cooperative manner, in a collaborative manner, building life uh, that is uh, willing to welcome the both of you or even a new addition for those of you that would like to have a family or that would like to enlarge your family or uh, would like to adopt would like to even uh, uh, i'm personally i perceive um, pets as uh, our own children so uh, for those of you that are uh, wanting to have big families or to just uh, enlarge your family in some sort of way uh, I really feel like you're going to have a great opportunity to do so with someone that is willing to uh, make the effort as much as you are willing to consider very seriously this connection that you're going to be with uh, when it comes to this person. For those of you that are in a relationship, I really feel like your shifting energy is going to be putting your partner in some sort of a, uh, almost like a crossroad. Uh, but when it comes to them, it's like... Uh, in in uh, in an absence of, in an absence of something, the person becomes it like uh, like a behavior transforms to its contrary to its opposite or to uh, something that maybe this person was not portrayed in the past. So maybe this change uh, that you are emanating from within you uh, in here, I really feel like it it might. Um, almost be a wake-up call to your partner maybe to take the lead uh, in other ways take the lead in making the effort take the lead and getting to know you and meeting you a little bit more and to just take this connection that you have very seriously because when it comes to you uh, it, like with this energy this is an energy that of someone that means business all right this is really something that uh very without you even like uh saying a word it sends us a very clear signal that 
uh, this is what I want and the other person really is going to be taking uh, whatever you say even without saying it you might start uh, perceiving or maybe uh, witnessing that this person really is shifting in uh, in a way that that you haven't witnessed them before or you haven't seen them behaving in such um, a leading way in the past so let's get uh some timelines when is this change going to be happening in your life the queen of wands wow. this is you by the way man women per, uh, man woman person doesn't matter this is not gender specific ace of cups Ooh, oh my goodness first of all this is uh, pretty much destined to happen whether you like it or not <laughs> we have here the world two times this is a new cycle that is opening a cycle of love a cycle of true love not uh, uh, unreciprocated love not uh, love uh, that I give in um, weight to, to receive you're gonna start receiving love from many different ways and through many different um, I'm hearing many different alleys in a way so it could be as an example as I have told you earlier this is a time to build on partnerships again I know this is not a career or a professional reading but I'm just giving you the the uh, the message that this energy this is a brand new energy that you are embodying and that you are entering into it's like a new era and this new era could start from the day that you are watching this reading this is a timeless reading and it's going to be starting to pick in momentum until the end of the year when it's going to be reaching the peak I'm hearing it's starting from now and it's developing and it's enhancing until the end of the year it doesn't matter when you're watching this reading whatever the year that you're watching this is really what I see but number four is extremely important it could be mon month of April when a specific event is going to be happening it could be uh, getting engaged it could be getting married uh, having your first child or maybe uh, like another child this is uh, like major major shift and transformation in your life that of course is um, influencing your love life as well <laughs> so that was your reading with your option number one thank you so much for being here and for watching let me know down below how the message has resonated with you i always love to read your comments and interact with you in the comment section so thank you again for watching i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time ciao Hello, my dear option number two. So if you have chosen this card, welcome guys to your reading. So for those of you, I just want to like right off the bat, tell you the, the message for those of you that have been in the hermit mode for a very, very, very long time. For some of you, even five years or even more. It's time to go out to uh, put your hair down to celebrate uh, being in love and feeling loved. And um, I really feel like I don't see a specific person, although there is a person. But I feel like there is a phase, a very, very important phase, a phase that you're going to absolutely love and enjoy before being with this person and it's not going to be a long one this is a number nine but right before meeting this person which is uh, later on in this reading we gotta look into some timelines you're gonna have a very enjoyable fun absolutely delightful phase <laughs> all right in this phase uh, you're gonna have a lot of suitors but you're not gonna be willing maybe to um say yes to just anybody or to just like you're actually going to be enjoying just being admired this is really what i'm hearing uh, a lot of people are going to be expressing their admiration you're going to have a lot of suitors a lot of people actually uh, going to be come towards you asking you out and it might um for some of you that have been uh <laughs> single for a very long time it might even um, be a bit weird for you or bizarre because for such a long time there was nothing and now things are happening and you're gonna be like where is this coming from why now like what is going on 
And I really feel like with this number nine, this is really a phase of completion because there is someone special coming towards you. This is very clear from this card. But really, let's look into this phase because it's very important. It, uh, important. And also, it, it's a very, very fun period. It's really something that's also you're going to absolutely... Uh, love and uh, yeah I would love to get some messages about that before getting uh, the uh, next messages about the person that you're going to be dating next for many of you uh, I'm hearing for almost all of you you are singles or you are right now maybe um, in, in a difficult situation or a complicated situation but I really feel like you're gonna enter a phase of lightheartedness and not really taking the people's offers uh like not being obli almost like obliged to say yes but uh, i really feel like you, you're going to be preferring to be friends with people to just enjoy your time let's get some messages Ooh, wow 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 look at that the devil look at this woman oh my goodness <laughs> Yeah, this is what I saw. You're going to be absolutely desirable. Oh my God. <laughs> but you're not going to be willing to uh, settle with just... You're not going to be in a rush to settle with anybody, really. You're going to absolutely enjoy this phase. Ace of Wands, look at that. And the Queen of Wands, obviously. Look at this spread. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like in this phase, there's going to be a lot of outings, a lot of invitations. You're going to be, I'm hearing, um, indispensable or a must in every uh, like social gathering. A lot of people are going to be really wanting you to be there, asking you to be there. And you're going to absolutely just love enjoying the company of people that you're going to meet. Maybe talk very lightheartedly with people, not taking everything seriously. And for some of you, it could be even a phase that uh, you haven't been accustomed to too much. Maybe you have been a little bit too serious in the past. But right now you're going to be like, well, I'm fed up of uh, thinking about my 10 years plan with someone i just want to chill i just want to chill i'm hearing so maybe in the past you have been internalizing a lot uh, all your social interactions but right now you are really taking a break and it's something that is very <laughs> clearly needed because i see a burst like an explosion of energy that is really going to be uh, putting you in this energy of pure desire, like pure desire. A lot of people really are going to be approaching you, wanting to be with you, but uh, you're not going to be in a rush. <laughs> so let's, let's look into this person that you're going to be saying yes to. Who is this person? Page of Wands. This could be a foreigner. And this could be someone that is going to be connecting with you or perceiving you first on social media or just knowing you through someone. Uh, the first time that this person, they're going to see you, they're not going to talk to you or they're going to know about you. Uh, but you're not going to be uh, actually talking the first time that your eyes are going to lock. All right. So this person is very adventurous. This person is um, curious by nature. And also I feel like there's going to be great, uh, jovial, fun communication between the both of you. This connection is going to be a continuation of this phase. Absolutely. And also I feel like in here you might travel. You might enjoy a lot of different activities. Maybe that you haven't experienced in the past. Or maybe uh, just go to new places, new restaurants, try new cuisines. This is the whole new world that is opening uh, to you and opening up to you discovering really what life is all about. Life, it's not only about being pragmatic and to just set uh, every detail, every little detail and to control everything that uh, you feel like it's important. Although those things, they come uh, at uh, times where they are necessary. But I really feel like in this phase, you're going to be just experiencing freedom and liberty. Wow. Let's get some more cards about this person. 
the hangman. This person could be an Aquarius or they could be a water sign and the star. And also this is someone that might be unconventional when it comes to uh, people that you have dated in the past or they could be, as I have told you, a foreigner, someone from a different ethnicity, from a different country or someone uh, that you, don't, you, you uh, visibly don't have a lot in common with. But as a human being, as just a person in a person, you actually have a lot of things that you're going to be enjoying and discovering together. And I feel like you're going to be very curious when it comes to each other's cultures, each other's uh, ways of doing things, ways of thinking about things. And um, there's going to be a possibility for you to actually discover a whole new community, maybe that you haven't really uh, connected to a lot of people from this uh, country or maybe this community, as I've said. But this person is going to be really a door opening uh, to you discovering a new way of living your life. And also, I really feel like this person, you're going to do the same to them. This person, even from their side, you might be someone uh, that's like, they they have never been with someone like you and it could translate uh, in very different ways depending on each and every one of you but i see very clearly that you might come from at least different countries and there could be other differences as well but i feel like there are uh, very different dif uh, things that are different uh, from the both of you so lastly i want to get uh, some timelines when uh, this phase, uh, first of all, when is this phase going to be starting? And then this person, when are they going to come to your life? Four of Swords. I'm hearing, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Why is, what is going, yeah. I feel like there is something in particular that is almost going to be launching this phase. It could be acquiring financial stability or acquiring, uh, being in a stable job, being in a new place. If you feel like you are a little bit shaky on your grounds and you are expecting or looking forward into a phase that is going to be financially more stable for you, I feel like as soon as you're going to be entering this chapter, those things are going to follow effortlessly there is nothing for you to that uh, you can do so i really feel like when it comes to time for all of you you already have the time traced in your mind and you know exactly when this time is going to happen it's going to start when this new phase of stability is going to be uh, anchored and this phase is going to follow like right away when is this person going to come towards you the devil Oh, the chariots and the king of swords. I feel like there might be an uh, like a specific celebration, or someone is going to be inviting you somewhere. It could be a wedding. A, it could be even like maybe a gathering. But this is something that is big. It's not just going out uh, for drinks with friends. This is an actual wedding, uh, like a major, major celebration, maybe a very important uh, party for your job or maybe for someone else's job. This is a, a very uh, important evening, uh, as in like a very important celebration where a lot of money is going to be spent. Uh, there's going to be a lot of luxurious things. People are going to be uh, like wearing uh, beautiful out outfits. And this is what I see. So there's going to be an invitation and uh, someone is going to be inviting you in this particular to, to celebrate this uh, particular event. For some of you, again, it could be a wedding, but I feel like you're going to meet uh, this person here. All right. So that was your reading, my dear option number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. I always love, love to read your comments and also interact with you in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that was the reading. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you next time. Ciao. Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen this card, welcome guys to your reading. First of all, this is one of my favorites <laughs> in this particular deck. It's absolutely stunning. I love the imagery. I love the symmetry of this couple. And what I see in here with this number six is that 
your love life is going to be improving through someone that is going to be giving you um, clear indications that uh, they actually want to be with you. Like this person, uh, this is very clear. This is someone that is going to be approaching you. For those of you that are in a relationship, I see uh, that uh, you're going to enter like a new phase, like you're almost dating each other all over again. This is uh, the phase of dating, the, the phase of flowers, the phase of chocolate, the phase of passion, the phase of sensual pleasures. This is the phase that I see for you. And for those of you that are single, they, this is someone that is going to pursue you. Absolutely. They're going to date you. They're going to invite you to nice places. You're going to see very clearly with every gesture, with every smile, with every look that uh, they actually desire you and they want to be with you. And you're going to see uh, with your own eyes that they are putting in the work and that all their actions are giving you the indication that this person really, uh, they are uh, absolutely desiring you. And again, it really depends if you are in a relationship or not. But the main message is that there is great phase of romance and being romanticized. And uh, if you have uh, like a, a list of maybe a romantic dates that you would like to enjoy with your partner or uh, your future partner, uh, this in this particular phase, there's going to be a lot of opportunities in which you're going to be really uh, rediscovering the things that you enjoy doing with your uh, partner. And for those of you that are single again, uh, this person, they're going to be, as an example, preparing uh, something very sweet uh, when you're going to come back home or uh, like surprise you at work with your favorite meal or like this is this is like all romance. <laughs> So let's get some cards. How is your love life about to improve? King of Wands, a very passionate person, very passionate. Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. I feel like for some of you have told yourselves maybe in the past, I want to be that person. I want to be that person that actually people pine for and people long for and people actually uh, do beautiful uh, chivalrous uh, gestures uh, towards. This is something, this is exactly how your love life is going to be improving. So um, this person, first of all, that is coming towards you, um, even if uh, there's going to be, as an example, some setbacks or even if at the beginning, maybe you're going to be a little bit reserved. Maybe you feel like you're going to feel like when they're going to come towards you that it is not the right time. This person, they're going to still persist. And also in here with this Ten of Swords, I really feel like... Um, I don't know what I'm getting a bittersweet met, like a sensation from this reading. As in, I would have loved to feel that all my life. It, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to absolutely love it. But you feel like this is like you, you, almost this feeling of nostalgia, as in maybe you're going to reflect on uh, what you have thought in the past or maybe the things that you have been um the people that you have been connecting with in the past and you felt like the things that they were doing were normal but you feel like you're gonna feel like when you're gonna be with this person that you really were you really were wasting your time or uh, it was just such a waste of energy because you felt like at some point all oh, this uh, romance that I'm wanting, I'm just being delusional or maybe it's not really something realistic or maybe something that only happens to other people. But when you're going to experience it, it you're going to feel like, how? Like, um, 
I would have never imagined to actually live in this particular way or be with this kind of person. And it's, I really would like to, this is obviously an improvement, but it's also going to be triggering uh, like certain phases in your past when uh, you have wished for this um, beautiful connection that you're going to be having uh, with this person or the transformation that you're going to go through with your partner and you felt like maybe it it wasn't for me but it's definitely part of your experience and it's something that you're going to be enjoying with this person anything else about how your life your love life is going to improve Six of Cups, yeah, that, that's the nostalgia that I felt like. It's almost like you're going to reminisce on the past. You're going to reminisce on, and maybe for some of you, it could be even like um, in your family, uh, not a lot of, I feel like for most of you that are watching this reading, you are women, or even if you are men, or just like uh, if you are people in general, uh, you might be very deeply connected or um, close to females in your family. And you felt like the females in your family, they maybe got the short end of the stick or they have been through a lot of turmoil in their um, uh, relationships. And uh, to a certain degree, you have almost normalized that. But I really feel like in this connection, it's going to start like questions are going to be starting to pop up in in your mind like that wasn't right like the, the the way that this person behaved with maybe an aunt or a sister or whatever or even with you in the past like you're gonna start re almost like um, rescaling like this is the total rescaling of how you perceive healthy and good relationships How is your love life improving, please? Six of Pentacles, yeah. This person is very generous, generous with their time, generous with strength. This is a very, uh, very emotional reading, to be honest. So with the Six of Pentacles, I really feel like you're going to uh, sense the generosity in this person's heart. And with this strength, uh, because strength is connected to the sign of Leo, this person, they have a big heart. And they have a lot of love to give. And I don't know if those of you that are in a relationship, something is going to be shifting in your person's life. Or they're just going to be ready or reaching a level of maturity. That things really are going to be starting to uh, develop to this new kind of connection or new kind of ways uh, in which you're going to be in a relationship. I also feel like in here, in this relationship, it doesn't matter if you are uh, meeting a new person or again, if you are in a relationship with a person right now, uh, this, this relationship is going to be uh, permitting you to transform um in permitting them also to um like for the both of you to have a lot more compassion towards maybe uh, your past i really feel like your past is coming up uh, like over and over again in here but this message is coming to mend uh, what happened or to close or to just um, reconciliate with the past, reconciliate with certain things that happened. This is a very healing phase that this person is going to be uh, almost initiating and things are going to be going smoother uh, little by little and a lot of different things uh, are going to be healed especially when it comes to your emotional body there's going to be a lot of healing. Number six is very important and very significant. We have here uh, three sixes. So when is this going to happen? I'm 
knight of wands very soon very very soon three of cups three months very 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 soon yeah three months or by the end of the year and uh, for those of you that are watching this reading right when i'm uh, sharing it on my channel in three months there it's gonna be december so again by the end of the year you're gonna meet this person or there's gonna be a great um transformation in your uh, current relationship and uh, yeah this is really what i see but there's gonna be a great advancement when it comes to your love life and your improvement is gonna be deeply healing not only when it comes to your connection with your person or with this new person but also when it comes to how you perceive yourself within relationships and certain things maybe that are still lingering in your heart there's going to be a very smooth smooth departure from anything really that was still bugging you or was still troubling you within your heart so that was your reading my loves i'm sending you all the love and light um this is a very beautiful reading like it's always this, the case when it comes uh, for somehow uh, when it comes to the third reading they're always like very interesting uh, interesting messages that come out so uh, let me know down below how the messages resonated with you i always love to see your comments to read them and interact with you in the uh, comment section and uh, yeah that was your reading i'm sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time ciao